People with CF have a problem with nutrition and GI health because just as the mucus builds up within the lungs in CF, we have secretions that build up within the GI tract. This includes their intestine, colon, pancreas, and liver. In the intestine and colon, this can lead to daily problems with constipation. In the pancreas, enzymes are made that help digest carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. Normally, these enzymes should be released into the small intestine to help us digest our food. In CF, these enzymes get activated in the pancreas too early, causing inflammation. In people with CF, GI problems can lead to difficulties with weight gain, but also with growth in terms of height. People with CF can also have problems with gas, bloating, and fullness, which can affect how many calories they can intake. The CF Foundation is involved in many studies that look at GI problems in people with CF. The baby observational and nutritional study was to compare our infants after the era of newborn screening with infants that were born before newborn screening and see how we're doing in nutrition and growth as we are able to diagnose our infants earlier and to place them on enzymes earlier. This study showed that our infants in the first year of life are able to catch up in terms of weight gain with their counterparts who do not have CF, but still have problems with gaining length in that first year of life. I feel that there is so much yet to be learned in the field of GI and liver disease and CF, and that we just have so much more work to do. But that is also what is exciting about this field and being involved in it today.